The set of all possible outcomes to a random experiment is called the sample space and it is noted by the uh, letter capital S. So we have a bunch of random experiments here on the uh, left and we're going to put in the sample spaces on the right. Roll a die and observe the up face. In this case the sample space is simply 1 through 6. Second one, roll two dice and observe the ordered pair. So in this case, since it's an ordered pair, we're talking about distinct dice. So we'll start with the first one. That's 1-1. One, one. That's known as snake eyes. And then 1-2 is different from 2-1. So there are a total of 36 possibilities, the last one being 6-6. Six, six, which is often called boxcars. Now in this second or this third example we're again rolling two dice but this time we're observing the product of the up faces. So now the sample space the product could be a one if you roll a one one. It could be a two if you roll either a one two or a two one. It could be a three uh, and the largest it could be is 36, but there, there are some gaps in there. For example, you can't get a product of 7. The fourth example is rolling two dice. One of them is red and the other one is green. And you're observing the difference between the red face and the green face. So in this case, the sample space can be as low as negative 5 when you get a 1 and a 6, all the way up to the high, which is a 5, when you have a 6 and a 1. So the next example, roll three dice and observe the sum of the up faces. In this case, the sample space, the lowest you could get is three ones. That's a 3. And then you could get a 1, a 1, and a 2 in any order and that's a four and the highest you can get for the sum of the three up faces is 18. Next sample space toss a coin twice that's the uh, physical experiment with the with the coin and you observe the sequence of heads and tails so in this case the sample space is heads heads that's one thing that can happen heads tails tails heads and tails tails. Finally for the last one toss a coin twice and observe the number of heads. Again you are tossing a coin twice but this time you either get zero heads that's the tails tails possibility or you get one head that's the heads tails or tails heads possibility or you get two heads.